Hey guys, it's krish 98 Sai here, and today I'm going to do a review on this little application here called ScreenFlow. So I've went ahead, and uh, by the way, if you don't know what ScreenFlow is, you can go to the website I put in the description, and you can go ahead and buy it there. It's $99, and I got this for my birthday recently, so I hope you enjoy so basically what ScreenFlow is, it is a screen recording software and it also um, gives you the ability to edit videos in this uh, sleek looking uh, editing page. And I honestly prefer this over things like Final Cut Pro and uh, other things like iMovie because of the ability to really customize the way you edit. So I went ahead and recorded a little clip, and I'll go ahead and play it. Hey guys, it's krish 98 Sai here, and this is just an example video to show off ScreenFlow. Now I'm going to go and open Safari, and close Safari, and yeah, that's about it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you these options right here. So um, I'll go ahead and select the video, and I will now be able to edit the video properties. And most of this is self-explanatory, but I'll go through it anyway. And fe feel free to skip things that you think you understand. Um, so the scale is basically what you think it'd be. It's just in the ability to zoom in, and as you can see, the gray outside parts are what you don't see and the inside is what you do see and um, when you're zoomed in and things like that you can also move it around and the position allows you to do this as well so I'll go ahead and set both of those back to zero and that to 100 and um, you also have the ability to rotate it um, on different axes or I'm not sure what the plural of that is I'll look that up eventually the y-axis and the z-axis. Now uh, you can also change the opacity of the video and that's basically the ability to dim it and make it not really dim it but um, the ability to see through it sort of an effect and that can be useful for if you want to create a custom fade in effect to your videos. Now um, the reflection basically uh, as you can see right here, you can see uh, the reflection of the video, and I don't, I'm not sure if this shows up in the video, but you can experiment with it if you decide to buy the software. Now the shadow allows you to um, add a small effect to this edge part right here. Now it's really hard to see at the moment. Now if I were to give it some color, I and you can see that it shadows it. Um, with as well as a reflection, I'm not sure if this shows up in your video, but I think if you were to scale it, yes, it does show up if you were to scale it slightly. So let me put that back and uh, I'll go and turn those both off. <clears throat> now the color controls just allows you to edit the saturation, brightness, and contrast. I won't really show you those. Now the video filters will allow you to do things like blur it. So I'll go and add in a box blur. And as you can see, it's blurring it. And I can change the radius. And this could also be good for fade-ins, things like that. Now in the sound, um, if you select your sound uh, section of your editing area, you will be able to edit things like the volume and I usually edit the volume to make it a little louder. Just beware when you edit your volume, you could get a little, um, little puh sound, sort of a p, sort of a sound, and it, um, uh, it's kind of an annoying sound, but that's okay if you don't mind that. And you can also duck the volume, and basically what that means is you can change it so, uh, it'll lower the volume a little bit. And, uh, yeah. You can also mute the audio, but I don't know why you want it, why you would want to do that. You can um, <clears throat> smooth volume levels, mix input to mono. I'm not sure what those two do, but you can experiment with that. And you can change the effect. So if I were to change it to large hall, show off, I could do that. And that's pretty cool. 
And also you can edit the amount on that. And you can add in a filter to remove background noise. Screen flow. Now I'm going to go. Now obviously that's pretty experimental in general, so that could add a, either a good effect to your video or a bad effect. And audio filters are similar with the video filters down here. Now next we're getting into um, the screen recording properties. Now this is uh, this will allow you to do things like change uh, how your pointer is. Here, let me change it to a certain recording of the video. So as you can see, the pointer is right here. Now if I were to zoom the pointer in, I could make this pointer bigger in the video or smaller. And you can also change the effect on clicking, I believe, yeah, on the click effect. So every time you were to click it, it could uh, do something. Uh, for example, create a red radar sort of effect or things like that. You can, al you can also change the pointer. For example, I can change it to a little white dot. And um, <clears throat> you can also do a custom image. Now with the opacity similar as to the video, you can change the, uh, let me change the look of it. You can also change the opacity of this to be able to see the background a little better. So that that's helpful. Now you can also uh, add the sound on the click. So that'll allow you to um, choose a sound and whenever uh, the button is clicked, it'll make a little sound. Now with the keyboard, I have no way of showing this to you, but if someone were to, if you were to type during your video, it will show up on your screen, so it'll make it easier for other people to follow along with what you're doing if you were making a tutorial or something. Now the callout properties, I'm not quite sure what this section does, but if you can leave a little comment in the, in the comment section and letting me know what this does, that'd be helpful. Thanks. Now, the annotation properties, this allows you to add annotations to your video, uh, as it says. So if I were to add an annotation clip, I could expand it a little, and I could, let me place it out here, and move the uh, little mover across, I'm not quite sure what that's called, and uh, I could draw a little something. Now it does also have a section for words, but yeah. And that can be played as so. Now over to the text, you can basically, uh, similar to the annotations, but this time using text, if I were to add a text box right here, could add a little text box and add some text in. <clears throat> and that's how it will go. Now with uh, the last tab, this will basically show you all the media you have in your uh, <clears throat> media folder for this application. and. Uh, when you record things, for example, this, when you record the screen with the application, all of these things will go in here, and you'll just be able to drag them in and add them to your video. <clears throat> now, I'll show you some parts down here, and I will first show you how to um, put videos over other videos. So if I wanted to put the uh, annotation on top of the normal video, I could just place it up, and the um, if this if the video is above the annotation, then the video would show up over the annotation. But if it's under the annotation, uh, as you can see the order, then the annotation would show up on top. If I were to select this, I could move this around to a ideal location of my choice, and I could place in the text as well. Place the text somewhere and play it. Hey guys, it's krish 98 Sai here, and this is just an example video to show off ScreenFlow. Now I'm going to go and open Safari, 
and closed safari. So, <clears throat> so that's what that's helpful for. And um, down here, I'll go ahead and show you all the things you can do here. Now, and as you can see, stop. I have some time stop. at the end where I'm ending the video, so I could go ahead and cut that out. And all I need to do is cut that out, is move this little slider across, select this, and command click this. I could right click them and go ahead and cut them out. And, and hey guys, it's Krish98 all the way across. Hey guys. So, um, that's about all the features of ScreenFlow. There are, there are, there are some, uh, little features here and there. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll see you for my next tutorial. Bye guys.